All right, fellas. We are at the lot. It's just me and AJ today. What is this? Learning a wheelie, the 636 part three. It is still stock. If you want to see me build it out, send me money. I'm just kidding. Why am I? The traction control keep coming on. There we go. It's actually like relatively warm out, dude. It's almost kind of hot. Oh! Big house! What's good, Pleo? How you doing? Good. Good one. Why did that pop up so easy? Whoa. Why are you being nice to me today? Might just be seat time. I might just be getting used to Willie in this thing. Who knows? Who knows? <laughs> Already? Oh. You get more comfortable with it? A little bit. That was like the first run I did. So I just got here. Hello, power band. I saw this fucking video of Jared and just like from a stop stock bike just pop it up and start circling it that was like the coolest shit I've seen all day let's try that again it's a it's just like almost a different kind of snap it's almost not even just the RPMs, it's the it's the snap as a whole is just different than the FZ. The the timing is is way different. Ooh! The timing is way different for sure. Man, dude, I just can't get over the the wibble wobble coming on this side. Brake is working. Oh! Oh. Look at that beautiful mountain view. How gorgeous. How pretty. up all right now I, th I think I've learned how to how to clutch it up now it's just controlling it at that balance point getting it that far back I think I'm, I'm still just 
I don't even want to say it, but I'll put it up on the screen. I don't want to put it out into the ether. You want? You want phone clips? Do you want a phone clip? Okay, word. <laughs> Gotta get clips for the homies. Gotta do it. That's cool. Okay, well, cool. There's balance point. So, I think. It, it doesn't feel as far back as, uh... Doesn't feel as far back as the FZ did. The FZ just felt so far back. That's why for me it was really hard to actually get back there. But this is almost... It, it's almost a little bit easier in the wheelie than the FZ is. The FZ was so choppy, you know? But this thing just... I don't know. Very smooth. What's that? We were just saying that you're looking good now. I'm feeling better. Because uh, like two weekends ago was like your first ride on it. Yeah. I would have never guessed that was like, as of today, I feel like, oh, he's been riding it. You know what I mean? Yeah. But, because you're just still stock gearing, right? Yeah. I think that's pretty good, dude, for stock and how smooth you're doing it. I think... I think I just found balance point on one of them because I brought it back. You know, I cut the cut the gas, didn't bring me down. I was like, oh shit, okay, there it is. <laughs> you know, but no, it feels better. I think um, I think I'm starting to get where the pop is because it was so different that like since I started riding it, that was all I was trying to do was figure out where the pop is, and now I kind of found it. Are you gonna change your clip on? Or are you gonna leave them like the race one? I'll, no, I'll change them. Okay. I'll probably put on probably dirt bars, to be honest. I might do clip-ons just because it's cheaper. Um, I don't know, dude. Cameron just bought some brand clip-ons, dude. They're like $400. Really? Yeah, Bro, like, I did all that for like 120 bucks. Oh, no shit. Okay. <laughs> so, okay, well, <laughs> maybe not. It but took some time, obviously, in that garage. <laughs> yeah. Um, no, I mean, I think dirt bars, I'd like the most um but i wouldn't be opposed to clip-ons so clip -on risers yeah yeah i think I, mike likes those better he said i think honestly the the first thing i kind of want to do is change the gearing and then cage um but i don't know um it's so hard to figure out like what you want to do for earth you know what i mean so. dude i was telling him i was pricing it out earlier this morning just like how much would it cost me to get everything i want to do on this bike all the stunt parts and it was like three grand oh, yeah because i bought all this shit off facebook and, uh, and then why gave me these pro tapers oh he did yeah shit i don't know but this rocket's probably the cheapest thing <laughs> I was thinking, yeah, sprocket. Well, yeah, that's. I mean, that's like. Eh, that's like two hundred dollars, but. Really? I mean, for a sprocket and chain setup, yeah, it's like two, three hundred bucks. Dude, I didn't spend that either. Yeah. What the fuck, you getting all this shit? Fucking Griff got me a deal on the sprocket and chain. Hmm. Because his parts guy gets a discount. And I, I wouldn't recommend going through him because then you're stuck with him forever. Yours was five twenty or five twenty five, Terry. Oh, five twenty. Five twenty. Yours is probably 525, right? Yeah. Dude, don't get a 530. Fuck those things. 
Why is it so expensive? <laughs> well, isn't it like the higher the number, the thicker the, the chain is? Yeah. Yeah. And the more tinsel string. Yeah. Mine fucking the goddamn utility punch it. Well, did you used to have the, did you used to have a belt on it and you did the chain? No, they did the chain conversion for me already. Oh, nice. So, but I, honestly with this, I kind of want like the bigger chain just because. It's a big bike. Yeah, I don't want it to snap or whatever. Do you guys know who that other dude was? I think his name's like Ricky or something. I, I he's been here a lot. He usually rides, that doesn't Honda, ride a Harley. That Supermoto. Yeah. Oh. Uh, I got one. Name, though. I was probably going to talk to him because I feel bad because we're like here chilling and he like rolled up. I'm going to go grab a drink. And now he just went back yeah. to himself. I'm like, dude, you can hang out. I'm going to go kick it, have a smoke real quick. Oh, fuck, I'm sweating anyway. I need to take those out. Let's <laughs> we'll see if I need to bump start it. Oh. Mm -hmm.